Hi y'all, it is me Madison. I hope you're doing so so well today. Yes ma'am. Today y'all, we are going to be making a very new to me, very interesting dish called mafe. Now the only reason I know about this dish at all is from a YouTuber named Foodie Beauty. She's had this on her channel multiple times and she says it's one of her absolute favorite dishes ever. And this dish was introduced to her from her ex-boyfriend who is from Senegal and it's one of their traditional dishes that they ate over there all the time. So she again, she's made it multiple times on her channel and it looks like my jam. Like it looks like something I would really, really enjoy because it's made with peanut butter and it just i i love peanut butter i love almond butter i love cashew butter i love <laughs> i love a good nut butter if you know what i mean um and it just looks so decadent and rich and um like something i want now she's made this again on her channel many times and she's always made it differently like she's made it with i guess you can make it with beef chicken you can make it vegan. But today, of course, because you know how we feel around here, we are going to be making the mafe today vegan and chicken style. So let's get started, shall we? Let me move this over here. Now, I am loosely following Foodie Beauty's recipe. Um, she doesn't have like a very strict recipe with like measurements and things like that, which is fine because I don't cook like that either. But I'm loosely following her recipe from her latest video where she made it and we are going to be making ours chicken style today so in here i think you're supposed to traditionally have peanut oil but i'm using olive oil because that's what i had in my cast iron pot so let's turn that on and get the oil heating up and we are going to be making ours today chicken style which i've seen her do and these are soy protein nuggets that i find at um Whole Foods and they're really really good they're actually delicious I made these with some mushroom gravy and mashed potatoes oh goodness so these are frozen actually they're probably almost full by now but let me get this open so this is what the chicken looks like like flat pieces and I think there's about 10 of these in here and again these are really really good so when the oil is ready i'm just going to put these in there and fry them on both sides and then we're going to move on to the next ingredients the chicken is done so now we're going to add a whole onion and four large cloves of garlic and then she says to add one can of tomato paste i'm using a six ounce can that i mixed in with a little bit of water to easily mix it in there and then we're going to let this cook for a couple of minutes to cook out the acidity from the tomato paste now it's time to add some stock. This is the Better Than Bouillon No Chicken Base that I'm using. And this is a just over four cups. I don't know if we're gonna need more, but we're gonna start with four. Traditionally, mafe is cooked with a seasoning called jumbo. They are bouillon cubes that you can get in specialty markets or on Amazon. I'll link them down below because the original flavor jumbo bouillon cube is according to the ingredients, vegan, so yay. They also have different varieties, but the original just plain jumbo bouillon cube is vegan, and that is what is traditionally used in this dish. I didn't have any, I couldn't find any, and I was gonna use a, like a vegan beef broth in here, but all I have is the better than bouillon no chicken base, which is delicious, so I'm not complaining. Now, let's add root vegetables. She says you can use any vegetables that you like, but I think I've only seen her use carrots and potatoes. So this is two russet potatoes and three small carrots. So this is almost boiling, and once it starts to boil, I'm gonna reduce the heat to medium low, I guess, and put a lid on it and let the vegetables cook until they're almost done. Hey y'all, so I seem to be missing some clips of part of the cooking process, but I cooked the vegetables with the lid on for about eight minutes or so, took the lid off, then added about one third cup of the peanut butter. It's crunchy peanut butter, cause that's how I roll. I don't mess around with creamy peanut butter. 
but about one third cup of peanut butter and then put the stew on a low simmer with the lid off with a screen on top of it to protect the tabletop and surface area from getting splatters on it. So I just turned off the heat. It has been simmering on low for about 20 minutes and there is separation of some red oil sitting on the top of the stew. I did add some Himalayan sea salt and some ground pepper in there and I actually did try it a minute ago and I burned the entire inside of my mouth. <laughs> And, um, ow, that was before I added the salt and pepper. So we're going to taste it again to see if it needs anything else. It's really good. Okay, y'all check this out. It played it up really nicely. It looks delicious. Here's what it looks like up close. It looks like it's going to be really good. It's loosely followed from the original recipe, obviously, because we substituted some ingredients. But if I could use that jumbo seasoning, I would get my hands on that. So let's dig in. I have some Topo Chico water that was on sale. So I picked that up at the store today. I love a good Topo Chico. Topo Chico is made in Mexico, and they sell more Topo Chico here in Texas than they do in Mexico. We love Topo Chico around here. Okay, so I'm going to cut this chicken piece in half so I can have that with my first bite. Oh, and some onion on there, of course. Yum. It's still really hot. And I burned the inside of my mouth. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I love that chicken. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's really good dude i love a like a saucy stewy dish with some rice or curry with rice yum absolutely sign me up from the parts of my tongue that aren't scolded off it tastes really good Mm. Can y'all hear Kiki behind me? <laughs> She's running from her food bowl and then she jumps up over here and brings her crunchies or her little nuts over here to the chair and eats them and then runs back, gets a little more, eats a little bit, brings some more over to the couch. <laughs> Silly girl. This is tasty. I'm going to save some for Sugar Nug. He's coming over tomorrow. He'll like this. Also, I don't know if it's supposed to have any chili peppers in it. I think it would be good if it was kind of spicy, but that's okay. Still tasty. Potatoes and carrots. Yum. Hi, baby. You guys, I have my hair in pigtails today because I'm 12 <laughs> and I'm rocking some purple lipstick. It is hot in here. I think I might have to turn on my AC. It's like 85 degrees or something like that today. And humid. I'm not ready for summer. I want more cold weather. Mm. Sugar nugs coming over tomorrow. And he's gonna be here for like a week 
which is awesome because I get to hang out with them before I go on my trip for two weeks. And we're gonna go have some vegan food, Happies. I've talked about Happies a lot. I did a video with Mama Son who owns Happies food truck. I'll link it right up here. She's actually moving to Austin apparently which I just found out about today. So we're gonna go eat there because they have like vegan Hawaiian food. Oh my God, <gasps> I can't wait. And also, Sugar Nug has never been to an Asian market. He said he has, it was like years and years ago, but it was really, really small and he doesn't remember. I'm like, we have to go to an Asian market. There's so many cool like vegan things that you can get at Asian markets. So I'm gonna take him to the like, biggest one they have here in Austin, Texas, which is like way far up north. Man, this is pretty good. It is creamy. I like it a lot. I have to turn on my air. It is so hot in here. Mmm. Mmm, that's better. Nice, cool air. Because I live in such a small, older apartment, my AC is like super loud, so I'm sorry. I know it's really loud, but I have to have it on. There, you know how like some people like can keep their thermostat at around 78, 80 degrees to keep their electric costs low, which is great, but they can hang out in their house like that i can't i guess i'm like i i don't know i just it, i get so hot and stuffy i can't sleep i don't like it like really really low but at least 72 at least 74 is passable <laughs> i'm sorry for all the cuts i'm making i keep sniffling like my allergies are really bad but anyways Okay, so what else? Mm, you know what I'm thinking? I kind of want to change my channel name. I do want to change my channel name. Because, like, not that I want to stop doing mukbangs, but I want to change it to something else, Madison something. And I don't really know what that is. I, I'll, I'll always, I, I mean, I think I'll always do mukbangs. I don't know. Who knows? But I want to do other things besides mukbangs i mean i do sometimes i vlog and things like that i also did a, a video where i baked a cake for sugar nug for valentine's day um i guess i could still post it but i don't know who'd want to see it but um it's like forever it's so long anyways i want to change my name but i don't know what i should change it to what do you guys think mm-hmm <laughs> I approve of this dish. Is there any like other kind of content you'd like to see from me? I don't know. I'm looking to like branch out a little bit. You're okay. Why are you all wet? Well, I don't really even know what to talk about in today's video. Mm. Mm. I really like the soy chicken nuggets, but I don't want to eat them all because I want to save some for sugar nuggets, but I'm like half tempted to eat them all. <laughs> I'm leaving not too long for Indonesia. The trip is still on, um, <clears throat> even with all of the chaos from, you know, the virus thing going around. It's still happening. I guess the worst that could happen is like, we would get quarantined on our way back to America and we would get quarantined in America if they are requiring a quarantine. But Callie's got us masks. 
we're gonna take all the precautions we need to when traveling like especially on airport on airports <laughs> in airports and on airplanes but i'm not letting that stop me i'm going on this trip can't wait and i just love that all the all of the guesswork is taken out of it for me like i didn't have to make any reservations at any of the places we're staying i didn't plan any of the activities my tour guide natalia is gonna guide me through it all and take me everywhere it's like a group of nine or ten of us that are going i'm so excited if you want to check out the tours it's always linked down below and i have a code where you can get 50 dollars off any tour and this isn't like they're not paying me to say this this is my friend's company who i've known for like eight years now i've known her forever so i just am excited for her and i want her to do well so this is one of the tours that she offers we're going to indonesia so yes you can check out the website and instagram down below she sent me a message the other day and said that somebody signed up for a tour using my code isn't that awesome i don't know who it is i wonder but whoever it is that signed up using my code i am so excited for you you're gonna have a blast and natalia is one of the sweetest kindest smartest person people on this earth it's gonna be amazing I can't wait I think I might just stay there I might just live there <laughs> but I'd miss my kiki wiki too much Oh my geeky. I think we're gonna go outside after this. It's actually turning out to be a really nice day. It was cloudy and now the sun's coming out. Oh, I'm sure y'all all know this, but they canceled South by and because of this the virus scare, which is nuts. I don't know if it's ever been canceled at all. And I mean, South by is such a huge, huge, event in austin it's if not the biggest it's one of the biggest i can't I, when they told me that they canceled it when i heard about it i was like oh my goodness a lot of people are upset about it like bar owners and people downtown that put on events you know it's a lot of like lost revenue for them and my friend alicia she was actually contracted by a company to put on an event there and, and now it's canceled i was talking to her she's like i'm so sad like it sucks she was putting so much hard work into her event she's like she was in charge of it all and part of the event that they were putting on was they rented a house downtown and where they were going to have people coming in and out of the house and have um, uh, speakers and things like that. And she, I mean, she was working to the bone because her client, the, pe the, the company that was paying her to put on an event, were so particular like they wanted the house to be like completely redone in terms of like interior design, but they couldn't like everything had to be removable. So she had to get all of these quotes and all of these estimates and things done. And also on top of that, she had to make sure that things could be taken away. Like they wanted a different type of flooring, but the landlord was like, you're not gonna rip up my flooring and put new flooring in. So they had to find temporary flooring new like curtains and fixtures that that could like come off but weren't going to like damage the wall and how it was going to be covered up if it was just so many detailed things like that on top of everything else and and putting together an event you know <laughs> she's like oh my god i want to pull my hair out and then she tells me that it's canceled 
And I'm like, so what are you gonna do? She's like, I'm so bored. <laughs> I'm so bored, I have nothing to do now. But at least she's still getting paid. Mm hmm Honestly, food just fell out of my mouth. This is really good. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. I want to get some, like, branches on my porch that I could put out there. Like, tree branches. Is that weird? Like, uh, artificial ones because there's still so many squirrels and birds that play outside my window before I had a tree a big tree right outside my window and there was birds and squirrels and creatures that would come hang out even a woodpecker and oh my god he was so annoying sometimes but I loved him and he was so cute and now the tree is gone and I, I still see the creatures but they're like on the fence or on the neighbor's roof or in the neighbor's tree far off in the distance sometimes they'll come crawl on the railing and birds will come sit up there but it's not like it used to be so I want to get some artificial branches or something like that are those a thing is that a thing I don't know I'll have to look it up this one you might clamp on there used to be this fat squirrel that would come up there. He was a chonks. And he would bring food up there and leave it and then come back later. And the last thing he left there was a big old hamburger bun. I just saw it in the tree. I was like, what is a hamburger bun? And then I look back later on and I see him eating it. He's like holding a bun up to his face. It was cute. All right, y'all. I'm full. I thought I could eat more than this, but I'm, I'm done, son. So I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.